In this tutorial, we're going to cover adding files to an existing LES dataset that we created in the Chapter 5 tutorial video and Chapter 5 of the book, Working with LiDAR using ArcGIS Desktop, which is available on Amazon. We're going to cover two different methods for adding files to those LES datasets that we've already created. So our first method is going to be starting from Arc Catalog. So in Arc Catalog, go ahead and connect to your folder that you're working from and we're going to be starting with our data set that we created at the end of chapter 5 which in my case was Albuquerque 2. That was the one that we made from Arc Map. So to add new files to this I am going to right click on it and go to properties and under the LAS files tab I can go to add folders or add files and I'm going to try add folders. I'm going to go to my folder connection and you can see it just adds them all in there. And before I click OK, I'm actually going to come up and check my statistics. And in the bottom right of this tab, I can see that four of my files have outdated or no statistics. So I'm going to click update and update those statistics. and then I'm going to come over and make sure my Z coordinate system is set and it is not because we didn't do that at the end of chapter 5. So go under vertical coordinate systems. I know that I have NAVD 1988 from checking my metadata. Now I click OK. And the last thing that I want to do is just preview my data and make sure it's what I was looking for. So to do that I'm going to come under my preview tab and as it loads, I can see that my data set has expanded and I can also look at it in 3D view as long as I have Spatial Analyst turned on as an extension. And I can kind of explore that, but only by using the mouse at this point. So I'm zooming and panning with my mouse and my scroll wheel. So now I'm going to jump into the second method of adding more data sets to our uh, original LiDAR data set we created and I'm this time starting from ArcMap and I'm going to go ahead and open up the first Albuquerque data set that I created in Chapter 5. So that was the one we made from Arc Catalog. I'm going to add it to my map document and then I'm just going to go to my Arc Toolbox and I'm going to expand my data management tools and go to LAS data set and I want my first tool which is add files to LAS data set. And in that tool I'm going to just set my input data set to be that same one I've just added to my map document. So that's Albuquerque. And now I need to tell this tool where to go and look for those additional four files which is my LiDAR folder. And I'm just uh, holding down the shift button to select them all at once, clicking open and they will all show up in this table here. I'm going to scroll down and make sure there's nothing else in this tool that I need to work with and looks like I have what I need. I'm going to click OK. And I sped up the process here but now you see my new larger data set. I'm going to close Arc Toolbox and if you check out the book at the very end, uh, it does talk about looking at the symbology tab. This looks a lot different than what we created with the first method, but the data that it's pointing to is exactly the same six uh, LAS data sets. So you can go ahead and change the symbology under your properties if you'd like, and we'll get into that more in chapter seven of the book and the chapter seven tutorial. So hang on to these files. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing, outreach, education, and research with funding from the America View Consortium in partnership with Virginia Geospatial Extension and GeoTED.